This is the carbonite freezing chamber set. I forgot what number set it was, and I lost the box too. So this is the carbonite hand cello. But the cool mechanic about this set and known as play feature. You pull this little lever here, twist it around, and push it back in. Now you have normal hand solo just kind of in the cart right. And this is kind of like the entire set here. I'll review some of the figures. So this is Boba Fett. He's a very cool figure. I just think that the color of yellow for his armor is not the right shade. I mean, it's fine, obviously. I love the set. Love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Here's his fairly cool gun, I guess. And now I'll be reviewing the egg nut. If not, I think it is. Uh, very cool, but he wasn't really used much in the movies. It's just kind of like a few time character. I never actually watched the movies, of course. Like, I didn't watch all of them. Like, I watched some of them, but of course I never watched, like, The Phantom Menace. I've seen many clips from it, I'll get that, but... Well, you know, he's a pretty cool character, I guess. They, they did a fairly good job with this guy. I used to think of him as, like, some pig creature. But, uh, next we're moving on to Han Solo. So, this guy has two faces. We can off his hair piece. There. Now he has carbonite face where he's like kind of stuck in the carbonite and stuff. And about to be like frozen in it. And, hold on, let me get that hair back on. I'll get it on off camera. And there it is. Beautiful figure. And now. I'm just going to show you like the carbonite part like by itself. Like here it is. This is just the carbonite by itself. No ancilla back there as you can see I took them off. Like you can do this and that so like oh yeah and uh so there are many features to the set but one of my favorite is this. It's like a little elevator and like you just put the oven nut there. Just gonna stick him in there. There he is. And you can like just put him there. And then you can take, take him off and just kind of bring him to the control panel and you know his arm, do controls and then do this. You know like switch it around and stuff but since you don't have hand solo in there we may as well leave it on the carbonite. You can actually see like the Facial details of this. Um, there, there is more of the details because I know since I'm looking at the camera feed, I can't actually really see his face very well. I just thought you might like to see his face a bit better. You can also like bring up the stairs. And you can like fiddle with the control panel. Another feature of the set is. Yeah, you can do that for one, but I wasn't going to review that. Turn them around. And you have this. Yeah, you can't really see it there. Oh, there you go. You can see it now. There's the little, uh, the little thing. You're supposed to put, like, Cancelo there. So you can just bring up the carbonite. Because what I like to do is... I... This. And then... I bring it down and then I take it off and then Boba Fett can take it in his Slave 1. I don't currently have the UCS Slave 1, but eh, and I know UCS stands for Ultimate Collector's Edi I mean, Series. Uh, so basically the way this elevator works is, you see this? It goes into the middle of these. So it kind of just gets pulled up. And then over here, it's basically the same thing. But just a bit different, and then, you know, there's the little lever. This is the set from behind. It's a fairly cool set. I love it. I think Lego did a great job. I don't know what these are, though. Little things. Just, like, stick loops. I would love to get, like, Cloud City loop. That'd be amazing. 